Anthony. So today you want to show us how to make castor oil pack. Yes, of course. This is the castor oil that you get it through a local health food store. Or you can order it online. I'm sure Amazon may have it. This brand is called Heritage Store. And this here is a, or Home Health, excuse me, Home Health and Heritage Store. This is the wool flannel that we're going to be using. It's organic, 100%. Um, so no synthetics and so forth. We want to make sure that what you put into your skin is as clean as possible. Now, when I want to use the wool flannel, I'll be using it uh, for myself or other people that have had maybe an injury or an illness or an inflammation. And what you want to do is you want to spread as much uh, castor oil here on this cloth. So I open up the castor oil here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply, I'm going to bathe it in castor oil, the amount that I'm going to use. And what I do with this is I apply this. So once I put a lot of castor oil on this, ca on this flannel, like that, it's got a pagabi in on there, put a lot of it. What you're going to do is, you know, you're going to fold it if you want, but once it's smeared on there, you want to find the site, you know, you can put it a square, wherever the issue is. Oftentimes it's kidney stones for males or females as well. Um, I put it on the lower back or if they have some really, uh, what do you call it, uh, thyroid, not thyroid, but uh, the thymus gland, which is in the center here of the chest. So if you have problems with your, uh, I can't even think right now, um, fluids, with your fluids and so forth, the immune system, that's something that I would do. What I would do here with this, uh, this castor oil pack, Let's say I was working with somebody, this happened a few years ago, somebody had kidney stones, I put it on their lower back, that's where their injury of, uh, their site of inflammation was at, and I put a heat pack over it. But before I put the heat pack over it, what I would do is I'd put a plastic sheet on top of the, uh, you know, right on top of the, the flannel. So I'd put on their naked back, I'd put the flannel, and then I'd put the plastic sheeting over that, and then I'd place some sort of heating device, whether it be a, hot, a warm blanket, you know, electric blanket, I'd put a hot water bottle, something to help the castor oil penetrate the skin into the bloodstream and when it's in the bloodstream it has a different effect um, it'll change the vibration but either way it'll help release the tension and that's exactly what we want to do we want to release pressure that's what the castor oil is for okay and that's another pack and so right now you're, sh you're going to show us how to make clay pack a clay pack is just you take a bowl make sure that's not metal it's nice this is a ceramic bowl here and um, you also want to use fresh water, purified water. So I put some water in here. And as I put it in here, I want to just, just like clay, you want to kind of mold it in there. And, um, you know, not too much, not too much water, of course. And you can always drain it if it's too much water. But the whole idea is you can use this clay for, for the moment. You can use it for the pack. But even the residual clay you can use for brushing your teeth. You can use it for, uh, for a clay mask, let's say. It dries up pretty fast. When you wet it, it activates. And when it activates, it has this effect of uh, pulling. So this is bentonite clay. Um, other brands and other clays exist, of course. But this is really good for pulling toxicity out of your body. And with this, you spread that, you smear that on the flannel, similar to what we just did there. We place this directly on the skin. Um, no heat pack required at all. The only requirement with the clay pack is every once in a while when you feel it getting dry, you moisten it a little bit. And you want to keep it moist because as it's moist, it's going to have its, its most healing effect. Um, and that's what you want with the, with the clay. You want to put that directly on the skin and, um, and you want to bandage that, uh, that area so that it doesn't get all messy and nasty. And that's what you use with the, uh, the clay right here. So what area would you use it for? What, what area would, would you joints, put it on? Joints, uh, inflammation, sites of inflammation, elbows, knees. Um, if you have something that's, that's um, let's say venom, even venom is a good one. I've had people who have uh, bitten by an animal, a centipede, um, a spider bite, snake bite, let's say, you put that on the area and starts pulling and extracting wherever the venom side of it is. Bees, when they sting you as well. So it has a lot of uses for it. Um, so any skin ulcers, and things like skin this? Skin problems, of course. And once again, if you're on a fruit-based diet, you will use less of this, let's say, until mm -hmm. you don't need to use this anymore. Mm -hmm. But in the transitionary phase, I absolutely recommend castor oil and I recommend the clay while you're transitioning mm -hmm. from where you're at to a more raw fruit-based mm -hmm. diet. Yep. Yeah. Would you ever chew clay? Yeah, absolutely. Clay is, yeah, you can, in most of the packaging, I'll tell you not to, not for internal use, as it will also say with castor oil. But um, let's face facts, you put a lot of things in your mouth that you shouldn't put in there. French fries, burgers, pizzas, don't put that in your mouth. There's no warning on that. Um, <laughs> the clay, yeah, has a lot more dangerous than that. The clay, what that does, eating less of it, not this much, but maybe like a, you know, a half teaspoon at a time or very little at a time because it's such great pulling power that you want to make sure that you don't take too much of it where it's going to create a little nugget because that's what it's going to do, absorb inorganic materials inside your body 
um, pesticides, vaccine residue, medicine residue, whatever it is that shouldn't be in your body, and we'll start pulling it from it. Does it also purge heavy metals? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. heavy metals especially. So basically you chew it, Mercury. you chew it, you dilute it with saliva and then you swallow? Um, what I would do is I take a, a wooden spoon, never metal, and you put mm -hmm. it in a glass of water, stir it up if you want, and then you drink it. And as you drink it, it'll do what it needs to do once it's inside your body. And like I said, very little at a time per day and just see how the reactions are. Because if you put too much, which I've done, you will be constipate because it becomes a rock inside your body mm -hmm. yeah yeah it also speeds up your your detox effects right um it helps it helps your, your detoxification uh, absolutely it helps pull stuff that maybe just eating fruits may not completely be good enough yeah you know. sometimes when people have headaches and they chew some they, yeah. they, they take some clay oh yeah and it's, it's just headache is gone absolutely it helps pull stuff out that's the mm -hmm. whole purpose of that yeah. super well yeah i'm often asked what is my preferred cosmetic well this is my cosmetic <laughs> right here. This is the only skin cosmetic that I do, that, I, that I use. That's all you need. Facial mask, clay mask, and that's it. Pretty much <laughs> nothing else. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much, Anthony. Thank you. Okay. okay um, when you have cash oil pack, one of the advantages of this is that you don't have to worry about throwing it away after you use it and wasting the flannel or wasting the cash oil. You can use it repetitively, which is beautiful. You can't do that with the clay pack, but with the cash oil pack, um, what you would do is just simply store it, fold it over, put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, you can put it in the refrigerator if you'd like because it is an oil. It may go rancid um, during time or you can put it somewhere in a cool dark space. That might be a better place to put it. And mm -hmm. when you're ready to take it, take it out of the Ziploc bag or some sort of container bag. And you used to use it at the Gerson Institute? Absolutely. They still use it over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just put this on, a, on an area of inflammation and, um, and relax.